Hi everyone, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 is finally here, it is official. Well, let's see what is behind this new and huge cover screen. Let's go for it. With 3.4 inch instead of 1.9 inch, the three times larger display is the eye catcher. Even if it is not quite as spectacular as the cover screen in the Motorola Razr Plus. It's relevant to mention though that this year Samsung decided to only offer widgets on the outer display and no full-fledged apps. At least third-party widgets and a full keyboard have made it onto the cover screen. So far, so good. The folding mechanism was also improved. The Z Flip 5 new hinge now closes completely and eliminates the wedge-shaped air gap between the panels. A fine lip is supposed to prevent dirt from rubbing between the panels and scratching them. This converts to a bit less edge, a bit less crease and overall a bit slimmer smartphone. But otherwise, everything is the same. The SoC is updated to the current Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, which was fast in the Galaxy S23 series, but only moderately stable when it comes to the temperature control. The battery remains at 3700 mAh, and the quick charging does not really deserve its name, with still 25 watts. Speaking of standstill, both sensors in the dual camera remain at 12 megapixels, just like the selfie camera remains at 10 megapixels. Samsung promises some awesomeness on all cameras, but we do not expect a huge leap here. So, where do we end up? More reality or more appearance? Samsung has certainly made some modifications to the Galaxy Z Flip 5, but the real innovations are missing. Behind the cool cover display, there is unfortunately not much more new compared to the Galaxy Z Flip 4. This is it, this is our first hands-on of the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now I'm curious, are you ready to join the flip side? Yes, please, let us know what you think about it in the comments uh, below. And of course, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Stay hydrated. Bye bye.